Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is obviously on this wonderful eye look right here. Um, it's something that I've never done before on my channel, let alone on myself. But without further ado, let me stop rambling on like I always do. And let's just go ahead and get started. Hello, people. Welcome back to me channel. So I'm going to start off with some Vaseline to moisturize these lips. Then after they're done feeling nice and plump, I'm going to take the Rainforest of the Sea Daily Moisturizer Spray, I think it's called. Um, and I've been loving it. I'm also going to take my e.l.f. Daily Mineral Face Primer, put that in my chin, forehead, and my cheeks and just rub that bad boy in to make sure we have a nice even base to work with today because what I have in mind is gonna be good gonna be good so to start off I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 25 I believe it's um, and then I'm going to take my beauty sponge and blend that all together just so we have a nice even consistency in our eyelids. <laughs> then to set it, set, to set the concealer, I'm going to take the CoverGirl loose powder with a Morphe brush. I don't know the name of this brush, but I will definitely link it down or put it down below in the description box for you guys. And I'm just using the powder to set the concealer so that it doesn't move and makes our eyeshadow stay on all day. So, to, so I'm going to take the Subculture palette and pick up the shade Dawn on my Morphe E27 brush and blend that as my transition color into the crease. <laughs> With my Morphe M411 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade New Wave. I love this color in this palette and deepen up the crease, just going back and forth, windshield wiper motions until I like the color that I am going for. Just keep going back and forth, girl, back and forth. <laughs> Why is love? Then I'm just going to take the Morphe E27 brush and blend that all together to make sure that it is nice and even. I've learned with this palette that you really have to blend to make it all work, but it works. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Destiny on a Morphe R39 brush, I believe it is. Again, I will link all the brushes in my description box. And I'm going to put that into the crease and on the outer V just a little bit, but mainly into the crease to deepen it. I'm really going for a smoky look today, um, deep crease, because we are going to cut the crease later. So just really blending, taking your time, going back and forth, windshield wiper motions. If you see something you don't like, just keep blending. It will work out, I promise. Just keep on blending. Take your time with this look. Definitely don't rush through it. It will work out, I promise. It's complicated. We should have been friends. We should have waited. But we can't go back in our past. Explain to me why we can't last. Is it too many scars? Then just keep going back and forth till you get the color that you are going for. Again, I really want this crease to be very green, very military like green, and very just in your face. Then I'm going to take my Morphe. M411 brush and take a little bit of the new wave of what's left on the brush and just blend so you have no harsh lines. No, we don't like those. Then I'm going to take my Morphe brush and pick up the shade. I'm going to pick up the shade Untamed and really focus this on the outer V of the eye. Just really deepen it, really make it smoky until you get to the color that you are looking for in this look. To heal from I remember the time in our life I had your heart, you had mine Then going back with the Morphe M411 brush And really just blending it out I'm telling you this look Really just take your time with it And blend all those colors together Because it's quite a lot 
Um, I just pick up my E27 brush and really blend the transition color with the crease color and the green color to make sure that we have one solid cohesivity in this look. <laughs> Then to cut the crease, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a little Morphe M172 brush, I believe it is, and begin to really carve out the crease. I took my time with this process. I took my time. I find I found it easier um, cutting out the crease when I had a mirror in front of me, so I just grabbed the Subculture palette because it has a mirror in it, and I really just took my time got real up close and personal with my eyelid today and just carved it out making sure it was nice and close to perfect is perfect to where I could get it um, later on I do put the eyeshadow on there so it really makes it really defined and really cut I'm just remember take your time with this process it is a learning process I this is probably my second time doing this and I still need practice, but practice makes perfect, right? Now we don't speak no more. We don't speak no more. We spent too much time. Focus on all the wrong things, yeah. Now you all doing all the wrong things, yeah. Maybe it was when we were just best friends. I think it'd be better if we were just best friends. Maybe Next thing we are going to do is spray our brush that came with the um, Subculture palette and I'm going to pick up the shade Electric. I am in love with this shade. It is so gorgeous, so just vibrant and everything that I needed in this look. I love this look or this color. It speaks to me on a whole other level. Best friends, I think they'd be better if we were just best friends. Then I'm going to pick up that really small brush that we cut our crease with, get a little bit of the electric color onto the brush and really just push it close to the crease um, as possible so that everything looks nice and cleaned up. That way, you know, you don't see just concealer. That everything in concealer is covered up with the electric shade. And this was 10 times easier after I did this with the smaller brush. Got all of these mixed emotions One minute you hate me The next we be rolling Feels like the love dying slowly I'm second guessing on all of my choices Like maybe we took it too far Maybe this ain't meant to Okay, so to blend those two shades together I just pick up the shade Untamed On this Morphe brush And just lightly blend those together So that it doesn't look like there's a harsh line between the electric shade and the untamed shade. I really want it to all look effortlessly and really blend together. There's no harsh lines once again. So then to clean up, I just take a Q-tip with some makeup remover and just clean up the edges of the eye. Next, for foundation, I'm going to take the Maybelline Liquid Mousse Foundation and dot that all over my face with my beauty blender. My hair was just getting in the way today, so it will go up later in this video. But I just begin to blend that in with my beauty sponge and make sure everything looks nice. I'm really enjoying this conceal or this foundation. I'm liking it a lot. It's really nice. Fantasy, ooh, yeah. Snap back to reality. So high I forgot about gravity. No, I'm sitting here trying to find a remedy. At the same time, trying to keep my sanity. As for concealer, there's really no surprise here. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to need a refill, by the way. Um, I'm just putting this on my cheeks. It's quite a, a lot. I don't know what I was doing today, but hey. I'm going to do me, and I'm going to use this concealer how I like. Right? Right. So I just really just put that on my cheeks where I get really dark, um, on my nose, my forehead, my chin, and blend with the Beauty Blender. Don't forget to blend it out, girl. Everything needs to look nice, nice and seamless. We were just best friends. I think they'd be better if we were just best friends. 
just best friends Maybe it was better when we were just best friends How can it be better if we were just best friends I see the script in your face cause you Powder by Ulta, the Ulta pressed powder in the shade Banana I have been loving underneath my eyes It really brightens them up brightens them up just a tad and I really use love it to concept to I can't even talk I really like it to set my concealer in place then for the rest of my face the covergirl loose powder and with a more oh that was a lot of powder girl with a elf face brush and just blend it all together playing roles here's a hockey puff focus on the main goal you to put some color back in my face no surprise the positions formula butter bronzer in light bronzer and just bringing some color back into my face bring some life back into me i'm um, putting that on my forehead on my temples and then i will bring it down my cheeks look at chris and queen telling me that's bay goes but you can't hold a conversation like your voice gone <laughs> sometimes you can be so fake do you remember what you told me that was so late if we ain't into me you'd rather go your separate way i give you horizontal bar since you need your space <laughs> and that's tragic you'd rather block your blessings and open up a passage so for a highlight today i know shocker i'm not using my carly bible deluxe edition highlight but i'm going to use this casey holmes spotlight palette in the shade pearl look at that gorgeous i'm going to take my morphe little fan brush that came in my package last month and i'm going to pick up the light shade first well let me flip it around for you light shade first and highlight the highest point of my cheeks to you know blind people while i'm walking and while i'm going to work so you can be like hey Come activate, come buy some phones. I'm blinding you. <laughs> just, I honestly, I like this palette a lot. Bomb. I thought you was deep, you just a shallow ass package. Signed and delivered to my motherfucking address. I'm lost in the maze, I'm stuck in the maze. Yeah. No brows? Brows, yeah. As for under eye, I'm gonna take my Morphe M411 brush and the shade New Wave and run that on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a flat elf brush and pick up the shade Untamed. Run this really, really tight to my lashes. I don't want it to be super dark underneath my lash line, but a little bit of green there will do. Then I'm going to just take the M411 brush and blend those together. So once again, I know I've said it about a thousand times on my channel, but once again, no harsh lines. Am I right? Am I right? And just really blend those together to make sure everything looks good. For liner, I can't get enough of this liner. It is the NYX Jet Black Liner. And I'm just running this on my waterline on both eyes and really making this eye look dark and bold. What we're going for bold and dark dark and bold then for mascara my go-to favorite rimmel scandalize mascara bomb maybe it was we were just best friends i think maybe and as for lips i'm going to take the nyx lip liner in the shade london my favorite nude shade at the moment right now bomb then on top of that, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in the shade Spicy Blush. These smell like Jolly Ranchers to me, and the color was perfect for today. <laughs> And we gotta make sure that makeup don't go nowhere, so I'm gonna take the NYX Long Lasting Setting Spray and fan it out while I talk to my dog. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed going through this tutorial with me. I This is completely different than what I have done, and I use the Subculture Palette once again. I'm telling you guys, I don't know what it is about this palette, but I'm just loving it loving it so yeah i really hope you guys like this look i loved creating it
So I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.